Okay, so it didn't happen on camera, but I had the very same thing happen that happened before with the screen turning orange with the white lines. And uh, at first I thought it was the old processor that I stuck in there, thinking that maybe because the BIOS wasn't updated that it wasn't supporting it or whatever, which is why I went back to the original hardware that came with this machine. And... Um, as you've seen a moment ago in the video, the uh, machine was boot looping, trying to load up the media there inside the CD-ROM, a DVD-ROM, and it would sometimes almost load up the installation media, but then it would just restart. Well, before I got a chance to uh, pull the disc out, it was trying to load up the media, and I got the orange and white screen like I had once before. So, what I decided to do was try a 32-bit operating system. So this is Windows 10 32-bit, where, um, and I thought, you know, I could do, if, if, like, if this machine supports 4 gigs of RAM, right, and supports an E6700 processor, which is the dual core, and I'm pretty sure it's a 64-bit dual core, why wouldn't it support a 64-bit operating system, you know? So that's what I was trying initially, but now I'm trying a 32-bit operating system, the Windows 10, the newest version, on the DVD, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, we're gonna see. Maybe it will load up the operating system and in the operating system install, and uh, I'll be able to move forward with installing the OS on this machine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of crappy if I end up with a 32-bit operating system because what's the point in putting four gigs of RAM in there? I'll end up putting like three and a half or something. Because literally, there's no point in putting any more than that with a, with, if I'm stuck with a 32-bit operating system. But I don't know. It might take a little while. But what I'm hoping to see is the little spinning circle that you know lets you know that you're getting into the uh, installation. Hmm. Well, things are happening. Now, the hard drive light isn't um, blinking right now because obviously we're not initially initializing the hard drive any. Um, but it, it's also green, so there's like the green power light that you can see there, and then there's also a green HDD light. I kind of wish that they had made those different colors instead of also green, but whatever. Uh. Like, I know I was trying to work with old hardware, but I used to be able to put newer operating systems on old hardware. Like, uh, for example, I used to put Windows XP on Windows 98 machines and things like that. Um, Windows 7 on Windows XP machines. And I have actually put Windows 10 on a couple of sort of old machines, like this one here. It only has uh, 4 gigs of RAM. And, uh, oh, there it is. See? Even with even with the 32-bit operating system, man. Like I said, I don't really want to get stuck putting Windows 7 on here or Windows XP because I was really hoping to put a newer operating system on older hardware. I've done it before, but uh, this is the the outcome.
I, I don't I don't know why why this is happening. Because pretty much everything works. <sighs> Alright. Um I guess back to the drawing board.